Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about one of the important topic in genetics about genetic disorders. Genetic disorders. We knew that inheritance of traits are controlled by the respective alleles, wherein abnormalities or anomalies are or anomalies associated with alleles or chromosomes leads to genetic disorders. Depending on the nature or pattern, there are two kinds of genetic disorders. Number one, Mendelian disorders. Number two, chromosomal disorders. See, the word implied Mendelian disorders, they form a specific Mendelian pattern. Whereas chromosomal disorders, they won't. And the most important significant distingu distinguishing between the two is Mendelian disorders involve point mutation that means what we call single base mutation just a small change at the level of or at the rate of single base pair is enough to that leads to a, a deleterious mutation with serious detrimental or pathological consequences whereas in case of chromosomal disorders it's like involving a major portion of a structure they say involve either leading to deletion of a complete chromosome that means there are two chromosomes, it may involve complete deletion or addition of a complete new set or translocation. That means a major portion has been involved in chromosomal disorders, but just a minutest or smallest fraction has been associated with Mendelian disorders. Okay, and these are our, again of two types genetic disorders. One Mendelian disorders. Mendelian disorder. Number two. Chromosomal disorders. Chromosomal disorders. As I said, the crux point for Mendelian disorders is point mutation. You know, point mutation. Whereas in case of chromosomal disorders, a major portion, that means say a complete structure or a part of it involved, a larger section involved say the chromosomal disorders again are of two kinds depending on the nature you know allosomal disorders and autosomal disorders say allosomal disorders say for instance turner syndrome turner syndrome kleine felter syndrome Autosomal disorders involve say Down syndrome, Down syndrome, Edward syndrome, Patau syndrome, Kaidu chart syndrome, Chronic. Myelogenous leukemia. Leukemia. You know, as I said, major portion of the chromosome involved in chromosome disorders. It may be it's like you know monosomy or trisomy. Let's I have given just two classical examples. Monosomy it involved means complete loss of a chromosome say we knew that chromosomes exist in page say 22nd page 21st page 25 uh, sex chromosome like that wherein out of the one page one chromosome will lost completely deleted it's called monosomy mono one chromosoma means body one chromosome is completely lost trisomy here in addition to the already existing chromosomal page addition of extra core chromosome tri means actually we have a normal diploid set now Try addition of one more chromosome. Sometimes a nullisomy, you know, complete loss of two chromosomes. Tetrasomy, addition of two chromosomes. Likewise, we can uh, appropriately we use the term. So it's about different chromosomal disorders. Accordingly, we have depending on the kind of chromosome. If it is allosome and sex chromosome, then allosomal disorders. If it's autosomes, autosomal disorders. And they're the best example. Say Down syndrome, trisomy 21. Say trisomy 21. Just I'm your basic presentation I'm giving, okay? Edward syndrome, trisomy 18, Patau syndrome, trisomy 13, Kaido syndrome, what we call P minus 5. Then, kind of chronic myelogenic leukemia, it's like reverse, uh, reciprocal translocation between chromosome 9 and 12. Chromosome 9 
and 12. So I, I told you already, a large portion will be involved in chromosomal disorders. But as in case of my Mendelian disorder, just a single base pair is enough. There are different disorders like, you know, hemophilia. Sickle cell anemia. Penal ketonuria. Color blindness. Thalassemia. You know? The general examples. So other than this, there are different examples like you know, Dutch and mustard dystrophy, albinism. We have discussed at length when we discuss about in, in our previous classes about X linked residue disorders. You know, we have discussed about how the cloth color blindness trait will be inherited. And the same thing, of course, the hemophilia as well. So we in, 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 in today's class we'll discuss about significant features of these disorders. So the most important significant is now distinguishing between the two random disorders, point mutation, single base effect, what we got. Just a small base or a small fraction of DNA will be involved. Small, not even small, I know small, just a single base at the level of a single base. But chromosome is not a larger section, like entire chromosome may be lost or addition or a particular part may be deleted or translocated or sometimes reciprocal transcription. So it's a whole, but yet they follow a particular Mendelian pattern. You know, we in, in our SRS class will discuss about pedigree analysis. That means it shows how a particular color blend trait or a hemophilia trait that means uh, a gene disorder or allelic disorder with respect to these the genetic disorders inherited in along the family that means in a particular family members what we call family chart a family tree in the form of pedigree chart we can follow that particular pedigree chart in Mendelian disorders but not here okay it's about different chromosome uh, different genetic disorders as say Mendelian disorders and chromosomal disorders then respect to Mendelian disorders, as I said, point mutation, point mutation occurring at the single base level, just a, just a small mutation, say sickle cell anemia for instance, at the sixth position in the beta globin chain, valine replaces glutamic acid, just one amino acid replaces another, what we call substitution, you know how it happens, because of a mutation called transversion. Adenine, which is a purine, has been replaced by thymine. T, which is a pyrimidine. Transfusion means purine replaced by pyrimidine or pyrimidine replaced by purine. Okay. Just a one base, say adenine replaced by T, that means substituted by T. Just a point mutation that leads to sickle cell anemia. At the sixth, that means because of this transfusion, at the sixth position, glutamic acid has been replaced by valine. I told you that that, that is the most significant deleterious issue of Mendelian disorders. Okay. Hemophilia in the first issue, you know, hemophilia, hemophilia, it is of three kinds, hemophilia A, hemophilia B and hemophilia C. Here, hemophilia A means, here, blood clotting factor 8, blood clotting factor, blood clotting factor 8, is deficient. Hemophilia B means blood clotting factor 9 is deficient. Hemophilia C means blood clotting factor 11 is deficient. But the thing is, hemophilia A and B are X linked recessive disorders. X linked recessive. Whereas C is autosomal recessive autosomal recessive. I am not going to the detailed description but in examination as a concept point of view we have to learn about important crux point or crucial issues you know. Hemophilia A and B are because of you know, respectively 8 year deficit, 9 year deficit, 11 year deficit but A, A B are extinct recessive disorders but C is an autosomal recessive disorder. C is very important point. Okay and the, the point is same you know blood clotting is a cascading phenomenon. A group of proteins will involve to form a plug so as to seal the blood flow, that means blood loss. But just loss of one particular protein factor, say 8 in case of hemophilia A, 9 in case of hemophilia B, and 11 in case of hemophilia C. Just one clotting factor deficit leads to a huge bearing on one's life. I told you already. 
huge or severe or detrimental pathological consequences is a major effect of point mutation what we call mendelian disorders okay this is one one kind of disorder okay then a uh, most classical example of you know, queen victoria queen victoria of britain she is a carrier of hemophilia gene we have already discussed in previous classes hemophilia a b or x linked residue disorder that means female in heterozygous condition she a carrier say crisscross inheritance skip generation of inheritance you know skip generation or crisscross what we call criss cross that means a gen particular genetic disorder will be inherited from grandfather to grandson via f1 generation female here she is a carrier that is why the, if we draw a pedigree chart of the you know a queen victoria's family several hemophilia descendants are, are, are occurring because of you know queen victoria carrier nature this is very important then after hemophilia you know sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia you have discussed a pair of alleles you know it is also an autosomal recessive disorder you know autosomal autosomal recessive disorder pair of alleles you know hba and hbs associated with chromosome 11 this is very important that means mutation in a particular gene in chromosome 11 leads to sickle cell anemia I told you already just one base transversion a replaced by t you know and the pair of alleles actually you know hemoglobin a and hemoglobin s naturally hemoglobin a is natural hemoglobin what generally a healthy human being have Hemo hemoglobin yes sickle cell you know sickle cell means here red blood cell become rigid in a sickle shape but structure with abnormal shape and are hypoxic condition they turn up into these structures that leads to clock formation in small vessels and have huge bearing on the health clock formation okay that leads to other issues like pain you know da uh, organs may get damaged also okay all these are with hemo hbs since it is a residue disorder two copies are required but in case two copies this is very important two copies but the thing is here heterozygous sickle cell anemia has a, a kind of advantage what we call heterozygous advantage heterozygous advantage means hba hbs what is the advantage develop resistance to falciparum malaria falciparum malaria this is very important though what about genetic load existence of deleterious alleles in a population for genetic load though there is a gen deleterious alleles but it develops resistance that is why natural selection have favored this it is a common prevailing, prevailing phenomenon in africa this is very important so despite having a detrimental alleles the organism is safe with respect to you know this kind of uh, falciparum i don't know Hy hypoxic condition leads to sickle shape that leads to clock formation that's a problem then in case of how it occurs i told you already at sixth position say transversion mutation i told you now transversion say g a g and c t c this is normal that leads to you know g a g m r n a again m r n a and protein six, sixth position glutamic acid just i am reading at just only one for example sixth position in beta chain okay in beta globin chain it is normal but you know transversion the mutation g that means here particular a has been replaced by t g t g then c a c then mrna will be mrna no, g u g then the peptide the beta peptide at sixth position valine valine at sixth position that means at sixth position the glutamic acid is replaced by valine because of this transversal mutation and this is a just point as classical example point mutation and a hypoxic condition leads to no clock formation this is about sickle cell anemia then another regarding other disorders phenylketonuria 
फिनाइल क्यूटोन्यूरिया फिनाइल क्यूटोन्यूरिया इज आल्सो एन ऑटोजोमल रेसेसिव मेटाबॉलिक डिसऑर्डर फिनाइल क्यूटोन्यूरिया इट इज आल्सो एन ऑटोजोमल रेसेसिव मेटाबॉलिक डिसऑर्डर associated with chromosome 11 sorry chromosome 12 this is very important you know secretory element chromosome 11 this is chromosome 12 there is a gene called phenyl alanine hydroxylase gene phenyl alanine hydroxylase actually it is an enzyme and respect to gene is called pha pha this is enzyme okay and this is gene PHA gene present in chromosome 12 that mean located in chromosome 12 mutation leads to not secretion that mean there is no synthesis of this particular enzyme what we call phenyl alanine hydroxylase in natural process this phenyl alanine hydroxylase converts phenyl alanine phenyl alanine to tyrosine but in case of disorder that means mutation There is no tyrosine, and this phenylalanine accumulates in the form of phenyl pyruvate, phenyl pyruvate, and other derivatives, and other derivatives in brain that leads to mental disorders. Mental disorders. This is the connection. The phenylalanine hydroxylase converts phenylalanine to tyrosine, but because of mutation. This there is no this we cannot synthesize this. Uh, that means the affected individual cannot synthesize phenylalanine hydroxylase. Therefore, phenylalanine accumulates that leads the form of phenyl pyruvate and other derivatives in the brain that leads to mental disorders. This is the most detrimental consequence. Eh? This is this is associated with chromosome twelve. Then the color blindness. Just like hemophilia, yeah. That means just like hemophilia, yeah. And B, color blind is also a sex-linked. That means sex-linked recessive disorder. Recessive disorder. I don't know. Let me repeat again. Okay, same point. You know, skip generation or first cross inheritance. The grandfather to grandson to carry a female like that. But the thing is, depending on the kind of disorder, say whether it is red color blindness or green color or blue color. If it is red color, it is called protonopia. Green color is called deuteronopia. Blue color is called tetanopia. No, blue color, red color is that leads to red color. Red color blindness is called protanopia. Protanopia. Green color is deuteranopia. Deuteranopia. Whereas blue color leads to tetanopia. Tetanopia. But the thing is. these two are x linked just like hemophilia a and b and tetanopia is an autosomal just like hemophilia c autosomal as it is it tetanopia it is a blue color blindness is autosomal whereas protanopia red color blindness deuteranopia green color blindness or x linked so it's a blue color blindness then last one the thalassemia the last genetic disorder under mengelian disorder category thalassemia Thalassemia as again of no thalassemia again of two category thalassemia A and thalassemia B that means A means alpha chain B means beta chain this associated with chromosome sixteen chromosome sixteen this with chromosome eleven. Here the two kinds of alleles are involved here, HBA1 and HBA2. We just single allele HBB. That means two pairs of actually one pair of allele on chromosome 16 in both parents. That means totally you can expect two pairs of alleles. That means four alleles, totally four alleles. 
by a just single gene. We knew that hemoglobin is nothing but a heterotetramer, 2 alpha and 2 beta. Then what we got? Alpha 2, beta 2 with respect to hemoglobin. Okay? 2 alpha chains and 2 beta chains. Here, in sickle cell anemia, in beta chain at the 6th position, that means specific location with respect to sickle cell anemia. But here, hemoglobin is like involving a ventile structure. That means abnormal production of alpha chain or the beta chain. If it is alpha chain, it is thalassemia. Alpha, if it is beta, it is thalassemia. Beta. In case of alpha, there are two pairs. That means four, totally four alleles. Say Hb, A1, A2 on chromosome 16. Whereas thalassemia beta, beta chain on chromosome 11. This is very important. 16 and 11, just one gene, Hbb. Here the thing is, what the common feature is, hemoglobin, thalassemia involved destruction, massive destruction of red blood cells that leads to loss of blood. You know, favored production of hemoglobin, healthy hemoglobin, that is what we call anemia. Thalassemia, no? Why it is called anemia? Large scale destruction of RBC because of abnormal production of alpha chain and the beta chain that leads to favored production of healthy hemoglobin, that is called anemia. If it is alpha, hemoglobin A, and if it is beta, thalassemia B. And thalassemia B is most common anemia. It is called Cooley's anemia, it is called. Cooley's anemia. You know, this is much frequent, much frequent when compared to thalassemia A. Same concept. That's important. the common part is same. It leads to anemia, but kind of gene. You know, um, chain. If it is alpha and beta. In case of beta, you know, if it is a person affecting the thalassemia beta, you know, excess production of alpha chain will affect the RBCs. This is very important. So all these leads to a bit, you know, severe pathological condition. Then this is about you know different Mendelian disorders. Then we are doing next topic is chromosomal disorders. Chromosomal disorders. We have already discussed chromosomal disorders include large scale portion of chromosome. They have again of two kinds. Chromosomal disorders. Disorders. Why? How this large scale, that means uh, abnormal decree. We, we have discussed in our previous class about genic balance theory now. That means Kelvin Bejesen. Non-disjunction. That means aneuploid zygotes because of non-disjunction of chromosomes. That means during anaphase of cell division, you know, for example. Anaphase, you know what happened? The chromosomes will break apart. That means the spindle fibers will pull apart. Failure of this segregation or separation leads to non-disjunction of chromosome that leads to aneuploid zygote. That means aneuploid zygote, that chromosomal complement that is not the half, the multiple of the haploid set of chromosomes. Say, for instance, we have 23 pairs. 23 is a haploid, double is 46. But here, 47, which is aneuploid. 45, aneuploid. That means 2n plus 1, aneuploid. 2n minus 1, aneuploid. We have discussed monosomy, for instance. One complete loss of chromosome in existing pair that becomes 45. Say trisomy, addition of one chromosome, say 47. Say if it is atosome, atosome, say trisomy 21, Down syndrome, trisomy 18, Edward syndrome, trisomy 13, Patel syndrome, you know, for fifth pair, a small fragment relation, Kaidochart syndrome. And reverse translocation, you know, for chromosome 9 and, and 22, that leads to chronic myelogenic or granulocytic leukemia. What we call Philadelphia chromosome, that means short chromosome of, that means 22nd short chromosome is called Philadelphia chromosome, okay? That leads to tyrosine kinase, you know, that leads to the, that leads to uncontrolled cell proliferation. Okay, leukemia. And the same concept. So the, the, the major reason for chromosomal disorders is non-disjunction. Non-disjunction. Non-disjunction that leads to aneuploid zygote. Probably already. Aneuploid zygotes. You know, if it is complete loss, we can say monosomy. Say for instance, you know, monosomy. Just a, two examples I am giving for understanding. Monosomy, say, that means 2n minus 1. Trisomy, addition, 2n plus 1. It may be like 2n plus 2. Here, complete 2n minus 2 like that. Okay, I call, I call, appropriate word had to be placed, okay? Used. Say, the, photo, the most important, if it is involved allosomal, allosomal disorders, and two autosomal disorders. Say allosomal, say Turner syndromes. 
Turner's syndrome. Okay, that is called monosom monosomy of 23rd pair. That means just one X chromosome. Okay, Kleine Felter syndrome. Kleine Felter syndrome. It is called trisomy 23rd. Trisomy 23rd. That means X, X, Y. Here, in case of Turner syndrome, monosomy 23rd, based on one X chromosome lost. Just X. Here, it is called female. Turner female. Turner female. Here, Kleine Felter syndrome, Kleine Felter male. How can we say it is male? Yeah, they are X, X, XY actually, but addition of one X drop, I mean X chromosome leads to Kleine Felter syndrome. Here, the, the features include in line like hypogonadism, you know, gynecomastia, slight development of breast, you know, hypogonadism, hypogonadism, gynecomastia. General features of Kleine Felter syndrome. Here, Turner syndrome, here, Kleine Felter syndrome include bar bodies you know generally bar bodies are associated with inact out of two x chromosome one x chromosome will become inactivated the inactivated x chromosome is called bar body they appear like drumstick bodies it is a feature of females but here since x, one x chromosome is extra x y x x y now x one extra x chromosome then a male with abnormal bar body that's a true feature okay here turner syndrome there is no bar body because out of two x chromosome one is lost no bar body no bar body. This is most important feature of and get Turner syndrome. She will be short stature, you know, wide a broad shield like chest with widely spaced nipples and you know webbed web, webbed neck. All the generally features general features of Turner syndrome. Okay. I regarding autosomal disorders, they're a bit a broad that means a different example you have to use regarding autosomal disorders. Autosomal disorders. I told already. The classical examples are here all include mostly trisomy. Except P, I will tell you what is the say trisomy 21st means addition of an extra chromosome. 2 and plus 1 now the same concept. Down syndrome. Down syndrome. And trisomy 18. Trisomy 18. Edward syndrome. Edward syndrome. Trisomy 13. Trisomy 13. Patau syndrome. Then, in case of you no know, 5p minus, this is called Kraidu chart syndrome. I will tell you what exactly it is. Kraidu chart syndrome. Then, chronic myelogenic leukemia. Very really important now. 22nd, that we call Philadelphia chromosome. Philadelphia. You know, trisomy, here, yeah, first focus on first three set. Trisomy 21 means addition of an extra chromosome up to the already existing chromosome, Down syndrome. Here, you know, it's, it's very, you know, it leads to severe physical and psychological, I mean, intellectual abnormality. Say, the, the, the concern affected child will have a small, uh, a round shaped struck head and uh, partially opened you know, mouth. Okay, then uh, here, trisomy 18, it's Edward syndrome. That means here, the most important thing in disorders is which chromosome is involved. 21, Down syndrome, 18, Edward syndrome. Here are the same, most of the part, they may survive for, you know, like days or weeks. Uh, well, it may even sometimes in fetal, fetal death. What does that mean? At death, at the, at the level of fetal stage only. If at all they survive, they may just live for a short period of time. That's with Edward syndrome. L like, you know, very, very short period, like days or, you know, it's like within weeks. Because of severe health complication, like, you know, kidney malfunction, heart malfunction, all associated with Edward syndrome. Trisomy 13, Patau syndrome, the same concept here also. The, the child may die at early childhood days, etc. Here, additional of one chromosome in thirteen. That means in thirteen. That means we have uh, uh, one homologous pair now. In that addition of one more chromosome. Trisomy thirteen. Then he goes. Cryo chart syndrome. Cryo means cat-like cry. 
cat like thrive because of abnormalities in larynx larynx and nervous system you know okay the, you know what happens the fifth chromosome you know the fifth chromosome a small fragment of the fifth chromosome will be deleted that is why it's called 5p minus syndrome 5p minus syndrome or small fragment deletion syndrome this is very important okay 5p minus or you know it's like it's just a small a minute fragment that leads to fatty short syndrome but as chronic myelogenic leukemia chronic myelogenic leukemia is here reverse translocation the kind of disorder is reverse translocation reverse trans location of chromosome 9 and 22 means say the chromosome 9 and 22 rest a part of the 9 and 22 will be exchanged the thing is that leads to creation of a short chromosome 22 short abnormally short chromosome 22 what we call philadelphia chromosome okay and philadelphia translocation whereas abnormally long chromosome 9 because of this reciprocal translocation okay reciprocal what was the reciprocal translocation reciprocal translocation what we call more specifically so chromosome 9 and 22 just they you know they, uh, they reciprocate their 